Hi, Achim Schlöffel, Linux Space Explorers. I was asked to give a quick explanation why we use closed liftbacks and no open style liftbacks. Well, it's pretty simple. Um, that'll, be, that'll be a super short video. This is one of these combined ones. You have the inlet to uh, inflate them orally or with a um, inflator hose, but they also have the opening here. And uh, this one also has like, like a one-way valve, which solves at least one of the issues. And that is that an open style lift bag can always fall on the surface, empty itself and come back down. I mean, on a surface marker buoy, that's probably not the major issue. Um, but um, if you use a lift bag for lifting or if you use one of those um, bigger lift bags that you use in, in long decompression, um, that can be an issue. Uh, for example, if you if you think about the AD lips um, lift bags that we sometimes use, especially on, on more technical dives, dives that we shoot with the reel, um, it's basically the weight of the reel hanging, giving you visual reference in a drifting decompression, but there's no real stress on the lift bag, which means a uh, wind or whatever can um, dump it over and then it could lose its gas and come back down. So with an enclosed one, that's no option and not a problem. For me, the major issue, especially on SMBs, and I mean, if I, if it wouldn't be so mean, I would do it. I would make a, I would make a collection of fails on shooting SMBs. I mean, that would be a long and uh, pretty sad one, actually. If you see people shooting SMBs and all the nonsense involved, then it can be so easy. Um, to inflate this open style lift bag, forget about this one, I just don't have a real open one flying around. There's, there's two things you can do. The first thing is you can take your, your regulator and place it underneath there. The problem is if I have, and I mean, you always have this, let's say, I call it a triangle. Um, big, small, whatever. But fact is, I have to get my regulator underneath here to start it, it doesn't matter if you do it like this or like this or whatever, but I get my gear close to this. So there's always a chance of entanglement and I've seen so many people shooting themselves to the surface. Probably not with a small one like this, but with big lift bags there have been a couple of nasty accidents. And why take the chance of getting entangled? Then perching my regulator underwater, always, there's always the risk, I mean, if you uh, it's not, a, it's not a risk, but it, there's always a chance that you get a free flow, which causes an additional issue, and so on and so on. I can eliminate all of this by not using them. The other thing is I inflate it by exhaling. So I have my regulator in my mouth, and I do something like this. Same thing, I get this triangle next to my regulator, and there's always a chance of getting this, and then I'm entangled, and I have it in my mouth, and it starts to pull. Seen this as well. So for the simple reason of eliminating these risks, especially not with technical divers, because I can already see the comments when people say, yeah, but I'm an experienced technical diver, this is not an issue for me, blah, 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 blah. Possible, but we also talk about beginning divers, about open water divers, and if you've looked into the ISE recreational program, you see that shooting an SMB is an essential skill that we basically teach from the very beginning, because I think it is essential in ocean diving that you, I can put up an SMB on myself and I do not have to rely on a, on a dive master or whatever. And uh, so why would I teach something that has a certain risk of an issue when there is a so much simpler solution? And the simple solution obviously is something like this. It cannot lose its gas, so it cannot accidentally dump its gas and come back down. I have no way of getting entangled because it's a single strap, there's no triangle or whatever. And um, I can inflate it either orally with a single breath actually, um, or through an inflator. The inflator cannot lock in case there's somebody watching who's not familiar with this. It's not like the inflator nipple on an inflator. It does not lock the hose. If you put it on, it cannot stay. It will always go free. But generally, especially for the small ones, you do not need the inflator. You see one continuous breath and the thing's filled. So that's super easy. 
And that's also one of the reasons why I do not necessarily recommend the big ones because somebody asked recently why do you use this 33 inch one meter um, surface marker buoys and not the big ones. Well, you can use the big ones and if you dive rough sea, north sea, whatever, use a bigger one if you're afraid that this is not seen by the boat. But in, recre in, in normal recreational diving, in not super harsh conditions, that's by far enough. I mean, if this, that's in the water and I have a little bit of tension on the, on, the, on the line, I mean, it sticks out a meter unless I'm really lost somewhere far from the boat. If it's just somewhere next to my boat telling them, hey, I'm coming up, that's by far enough and it's so easy to inflate. If you have another one, a big one, and you want to start inflating it, you breathe in it, you take back the regulator, um, you start to inflate it again, which makes it more more cumbersome, while this one I can inflate with one single breath. The other one I basically need the inflator hose too, which is not an issue as well, but why make it complicated if I do not have to? All right, I hope that answers the question. It was a quick and short video. If you have comments and questions, Please check out the Patreon site, that's where we discuss things in detail. Otherwise, um, also check us out on Facebook. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. And I'll see you next Friday. Thank you very much.